Jason Plato now looking for the inside line into the chicane. Oh, he hits Pla- he hits Muller. He's turned him sideways. Muller still got his foot in. Oh, wonderful control from Ivan Muller. That was the most amazing save I have ever seen in touring cars. Believe me, he's trying to slow the car down and the car's trying to spin. His only way to save it is to get on the throttle. When he wants to be braking, he put a little bit of steering lock on and then wound it off. It was so perfect. This is Plato on board. He's got, um, this is Muller, so he's about to turn sharp right as the back gets tapped out. He's across the grass. He has to floor the throttle to bring the front back end round. It comes round perfectly, gets a lock off, gets off the throttle, and look at that, he's lined up perfectly. What that, a brilliant save. That was one of the finest pieces of car control I've ever seen on a race circuit. Uh, this was the view from onboard Plato's car. Now Plato nudges Muller there, you see. Look how sideways Muller is. He's completely broadside and he still gets it turned into the chicane. Fantastic. Here comes McNeil. McNeil's got alongside Plato and he's through. He's got into third place. And that's going to help. That's going to help Chilton as well. Oh, Pick, Pickford's gone through as well. Must have a problem, surely. This is what happened. See what happened here. Plato was on the brakes and uh, Matt Neal just uh, got through on the inside. Oof, a little bit of a nudge. There's the leader. We haven't seen a lot of him really because he's out on his own. Oh, here comes Matt. This is where he did Plato as well. What a good move from Matt Neal. A little bit of a, a kiss as he goes past and he's into second place. Wow, that's the place that Matt Neal likes best here at Thruxton. Well, Matt always finds a place. This is where we come. He comes. Muller's just only moved out to halfway to give himself a line through Goodwood, but Matt just sticks the car in there, and it's a perfectly fair, clean pass. How Matt's got the grip to do that and the confidence to do it is incredible, but he always finds somewhere to pass, doesn't he? That's the great thing about Matt. The race leader is Dan Eves. He's just backed off a little bit on the last lap or so. I think he's okay. I think he's just treading carefully, looking after the tyres. He is going to take his second win of the day. And, uh, well, what a great achievement it is, not just for him, but for the team as well. This independence team, remember, it's not a factory-backed team. Team Halfords, they've built these cars themselves. Team Dynamics, who run the operation, they've built these cars to their own design their own designers, their own engineers, they've put it all together and they are certainly showing the field the way to go, not only at Donington, but even more so at Thruxton. Race number two, round five of the championship, goes to Dan Eves with his teammate Matt Neal finishing in second place. Third goes to Ivan Muller, fourth to James Pickford. But the win goes to Dan Eves, second place to Matt Neal. What can you say about that team performance? Dan Eves notching up another touring car victory, while Matt Neal made it even a better day for Team Halfords with a useful second. Ivan Muller, though, managed to keep in touch in third, while Jason Plato settled for fifth place. So the question on everyone's lips, could Dan Eves make touring car history with three wins out of three? With two already under his belt, you wouldn't bet against him.